is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be making these super cute rainbow cupcakes in a jar. These ones are baked, not layered, like you may have seen in many popular sites. It's a very popular recipe, and I'm happy to be sharing this with you today. So let's get started. To make the rainbow cupcake in a jar, you're going to need a batch of our homemade vanilla cake and our homemade vanilla buttercream. We'll provide the links for those in the show notes for you. You're going to need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple coloring. I use AmeriColor because the vibrancy that the color comes out and they're gel pastes. You can use any type of coloring that you have. If you're using liquid food coloring, it will not come out as vibrant, so just have that um, in your mind ahead of time. You're going to be dyeing both, or we're going to be dyeing the uh, cake batter, so you're going to need six different bowls, six bags, um, piping bags, and rainbow sprinkles, six spoons, and I'm going to be using a 1M Wilton tip for decorating the top of the cupcake jar. Now for the jars, these are a 250 milliliter regular canning jar. I got them at Target, and you can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, and you don't need to have the lids if you want to be serving them as a present to a friend you might want to be able to put the lid back on so just keep that in mind as well so we're going to get started so once you have the cake batter distributed into the six different bowls you're going to add one color per bowl red we got some green yellow some purple We've got blue, and we have red. So I'm gonna mix up all of these colors, and when I've got them all mixed up with six different spoons, you don't wanna mix any of your colors um, up, you'll get that ugly brown. And when they're all mixed up, I'll be back. So once all the colors have been mixed, we're going to fill the pastry bags with one color per bag. So I've just got it wrapped around my hand here and I'm going to put all the red into this bag and then I'll do the same for each of the other colors. So once the bags are all ready to go, we're going to use our jar and the first color we're going to put in the base is the purple. So I'm just going to hold my jar and gently squeeze only about less than half an inch, like a quarter of an inch, of batter of each color. I just wanna make sure I get a little bit of the rainbow for every one. Now my blue. And I'm making sure that I'm touching the edge of the jar with the batter as I go around. And I did not grease these, because unlike when you bake a cake or you bake the cupcakes, you want them to come out. You don't need these ones to pop out because likely the person eating the jar will be using a spoon. So, last couple colors. And I wanna make sure that I'm not overfilling my jar. Um, I'm going to about halfway. If I overfill the jar, the batter will overflow. It's not a big deal as you can cut it off later and I'm actually gonna overfill one to show you that afterwards to see just what you can do if you put too much batter in. So it's about half full in the jar and it's ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna fill up a couple more and then I'll show you how they're going to go into the oven. Once you've got your jars filled, what you're going to do is make a water bath. Now I'm using a nine inch round cake pan for this and I've got the jar spaced out so there's enough movement of air throughout the oven so it can circulate so each of the jar gets fully baked. But in order to provide a nice even baking, I'm going to fill the bottom of the pan with about half an inch to three quarters of an inch of water. So I'm gonna put it into the oven just as I would normally, and it's going to go in for um, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 35 minutes. They do take longer than a regular cupcake, um, so you just wanna watch it carefully around uh, probably the 28 minute mark. So I'm gonna just pop those in. So the cupcakes in the jar have baked fully and they are cooled to room temperature. Now these two are quite full and I said that I was going to show you what to do if there was too much batter. Now the reason there's too much batter is you want to be able to pipe on some frosting onto the top 
And so this just doesn't give very much room for piping on the frosting, especially if you want to put the lid back on. So all you have to do is just use any sort of knife, a paring knife or any sharp knife, and just cut around the top and remove all the excess. Nice and bright color there. And then this will give you enough room to put a little bit um, more icing in than you would if you left it at this height. So you don't have to do that, that's total personal preference. So next I'm going to put my buttercream into my icing bag with my 1M tip. I have my buttercream in my bag now and I'm just going to do a classic cupcake swirl. Squeeze and build it up in the center and then work around the outside. Building up. And then I'm going to finish it off with some rainbow bits. So again, classic building in the center, around the outside, coming up, and rainbow bits. So I'm going to finish these rainbow beauties off and I'll be back to show you the finished product. So there you go everybody, how to bake rainbow cupcakes in a jar. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all of our newest videos. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Google+. See you again next time.